Hi, this is Scott Fresner, developer of TCEPs and Fast Films. I'd like to walk you through how to use the Distress routine in TCEPs. You know, the Distress is the washed and worn look that's been around for a long time and it seems to not be going away. Now, we have a variety of options here in the menu. We can distress the version with the black around the image if we want only, if it's going to be on a black shirt only. We can distress the image that has white around the image, white in the canvas area if it's for a light shirt. But if you're going to do designs that work on light and dark shirts, you need to distress both of the files because the distressing is different for the light version than it is for the dark version. Let's distress both of the files now. We're going to click on Distressed Look Both. Now make sure and read the menus and read them closely because they give you very specific directions. This menu says the file must be RGB and flattened with no additional channels just like the files you would run to do regular separations in TCEPs. And it tells you to load the black background, black canvas, or masked version first. And it tells you to load the unmasked, or the version with white around it, second. Now the prompt says you need to check and you need to select the texture you're going to use. We've given you on your hard disk a folder called TCEPs and in that folder is a folder called Distressed and in that is a number of Distressed overlay files. And it prompts you where they're at. I'm going to load the large Distressing. Now it tells you that it's placed the overlay on top of your file and it says that you can move this around if you want, make it bigger or smaller, or cover the file. If your file is really high resolution, the overlay may not cover the entire file. We'll click continue and it says when you're done doing this, press the button again to restart the routine. So right now if I click on the move tool and move this around, I can see that it's laying on top of my file. I can put it where I like it. I can make it bigger or smaller. Now because I've applied a transformation to this, before I can do anything else, I must approve this transformation by double clicking on this, on this layer. Now I can click on the red button that's turned red that says Distressed Look Both and restart the routine. Now this prompts you that if you would like some color showing through the distressing, I think you shouldn't because I think that distressing is the shirt showing through from being washed and worn. And so you can change the opacity setting in your layers palette if you like. I'll press stop, click on my layers palette, and I can change the opacity setting right here if I like. I prefer to have it be solid with no opacity, no shirt showing through. And we click on the red button one more time. The program cooks. And when it's done, you now have two files designed to run with TCEPs. One for the black, that's the black version. One that is the white version. And if you look closely, the difference is the white version has white in the distressed area. The black version has nothing, has black in the distressed area. You can't run the same routine on just one file. You have to run this routine where it works on both files separately. And now we would save these files and maybe name them black distressed or white distressed and then run routines in TCEPs. You always run the distressed routine first on the original files before you do separations. That's the distressed routines in TCEPs.